Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now today I've been tapping into a corner of myself, you know, a corner of my soul, corner of my mind, you could say. That, um, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a dark place, if I'm honest. And what I'm about to share with you now isn't something that I'd advise anyone to do. I'm not here to tell anyone how to live their life and what to do. I'm just here to share what's going on in my life and in my head in case it can help anyone. But um, one thing that I had to basically admit to myself at the beginning of this attempt of improving my life, you know, staying clean from drinking drugs, is the fact that deep down in my soul, there is a part of me that absolutely hates myself. And I had to dig that part of me up and bring it into the light rather than suppressing it, which is what most of us, especially men do during our life. You know, we suppress negative thoughts that we have for ourselves, you know, take drugs and try and escape from the world to help us suppress the, the hatred we have for ourselves. And usually that sort of uh, emotion or those feelings will come back up at some point. You know, you can't suppress hatred for yourself forever. You know, and usually they will come up in times that aren't ideal and really negatively affect your life. And what I found, you know, at the beginning of this attempt, this successful attempt at staying clean from drinking drugs is that I had to dig up the fact that there is a part of me that absolutely hates myself. You know, I had to literally dig into my own soul and acknowledge you know, and find that hatred I have for myself, bring it into the light and experience it, embrace it before I could then start building myself back up, focusing on turning myself into the strongest human being possible to not allow that darkness within me to, you know, just rise its head uh, in a non-ideal situation and mess me up. And today I've kind of had to tap in to that deep hatred that I still have within me, you know, deep within me um, of myself. Now, today I had boxing at 12 noon and I woke up this morning feeling absolutely broken, absolutely knackered. I'm kind of coming to, to terms with the fact that I might have to actively have a rest period. I don't know what that's going to mean. I don't know whether it's going to mean a whole week away from all my fitness, a whole week away from making these videos. I haven't made my mind up yet, but I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that I probably do need to calm down a little bit because over the last few weeks I have been failing with my fitness and stuff anyway and I'm also really failing now in terms of being able to get up in the morning and I'm finding that as well as having my inherent laziness in my mind trying to keep me in bed I'm finding that I'm actually waking up feeling broken and knackered like physically as well and when I'm feeling that sort of physical tiredness it's easier for my lazy mind to persuade me to stay in bed um, even easier than it ever has been before um, so yeah this morning I woke up feeling absolutely knackered absolutely broken and eventually I did get out of bed but it wasn't until half 10 I think and I made a point of writing in my journal and having a meditation session whilst Kat was making breakfast basically because I knew that I couldn't have my breakfast too late because then I'll end up feeling sick in my boxing class, um, which I did end up feeling sick in my boxing class today. But, you know, I actually felt like I wasn't capable of going through my boxing class today because I felt absolutely broken. And it was then that I decided to dig in to my soul and find this hatred that I have for myself that's still in there. When tapping into my desire to turn myself into the strongest human being isn't enough, then I tap into that part of my soul that absolutely hates myself. And, you know, throughout my boxing class today, I was just basically punishing myself. That's what I used to keep myself going. I used dark energy to keep myself going in my boxing class. So whilst I was in my boxing class and I felt like I couldn't go on with what exercise we were doing at the time, instead of focusing on the fact that I want to build myself into the strongest human being possible, I focused on the fact that I hate myself. And I used it as an opportunity to punish myself and break myself down. You know, I had thoughts in my mind where it was like, no, keep going. It doesn't matter how knackered you are. Keep going, even if it kills you. And, you know, it might sound dark. It might sound dangerous and you know maybe potentially it is and it's definitely something that I wouldn't recommend people do it's just something that I want to share with you today and it's it's something that I've been focusing on today now this evening I want to go and do an arm and chest session in the gym because I haven't 
you know, been f- fulfilling my quota in terms of my gym sessions last couple of weeks, and I'm determined to this week. Now, I'm already slacking in terms of the videos on the other channel because this is another day where the next video won't be released. But um, yeah, today, after my boxing class, after I had a shower and stuff, um, I decided to basically come out uh, with Kat. She's just gone into her parents' place to um, deal with some things because her mum and dad are, are in Italy at the moment. And yeah, then we're going to go for a wander around uh, one of the local shopping centres or whatever, you know. So yeah, I decided to go out with, with Kat today rather than just sitting indoors and forcing myself to, um, you know, crack on with the editing of the next video on the other channel because... You know, as well as me tapping into this dark place within me that hates myself to get myself through my fitness and stuff and to kind of punish myself for not being as bang on my fitness as I would hope, you know, for the last couple of weeks. I'm also acknowledging the fact that I probably do need to have some sort of rest away from work um, and potentially away from fitness, but certainly not today. So, you know, I've kind of allowed myself to, you know, as I say, go out shopping with Kat this afternoon rather than keep my head in my MacBook with the intention of later on going to the gym, regardless of how up for it I am, you know. And again, later on, I'll be tapping into that dark place within my soul that absolutely hates myself. You know, I'll be looking to punish myself for the fact that I hate myself. You know, I'll be tapping into that sort of dark corner of myself to get me through what I need to do. And look, it's not something that I want to do every day. It's not something that I recommend anyone does. I definitely recommend that you search within yourself to find out if you do have a bit of hatred for yourself, especially if you're a drug addict, because I believe that whether you like it or not, if you're a drug addict, there is something within you where you absolutely hate yourself. And that's what you're escaping from when you're taking drugs. You know, that's why you're escaping from the world by taking drugs or drinking alcohol or whatever. Now, that's what I believe. And I believe that if you don't believe that and you are a drug addict, then, you know, that's just your addiction and your mind trying to hide that from you. And, you know, it will come out one day in a not ideal time, you know, when sort of hatred and negativity builds up. So if you're in that situation and, you know, you're trying to turn your life around and you're trying to get clean, I would say, yeah, search within yourself and find that hatred you have for yourself and bring it into the light. But with the intention of battling through it, not succumbing to it. That's certainly what I had to do at the beginning of this attempt of staying clean. You know, I had to acknowledge and admit that there is a part of me that, that hates myself. And then it was a case of using that as my excuse to turn myself into the strongest human being so that I don't hate myself. And now I've got to the point where I'm a year and a bit into, you know, turning myself into the strongest human being. And, you know, there are times where my desire for turning myself into the strongest human being possible isn't enough. And I've definitely gone through a lull period recently. So yeah, now I choose to tap in to that dark energy to get me through and to keep me pushing forward. It's all about realising that you can control your emotions, you can control how your emotions help you or hinder you, you know, rather than being a feather in the wind and just getting carried away by whatever emotions and whatever uh, thoughts are going through your head, you can actively analyze what's going on in your head and acknowledge what's going on in your head, acknowledge how what's going on in your head is affecting you and then acknowledge that you can actually take steps to tap into different variations of what's going in your head to benefit you and that includes tapping into the dark side of your soul to benefit you and this is definitely something that's kind of hard to explain and I hope that I've done it justice and again you know it is something that is potentially dangerous you know because if you tap into the dark side of your soul in a certain way that can be a way to actually prevent you moving forward so you have to tap into it in a way where it's not overcoming you you're just acknowledging that there is a dark part of your soul there and using that as fuel to continue in your quest to turn yourself into the strongest human being possible not 
in a way of focusing on that darkness as an excuse to not push forward and turn yourself into the strongest human being possible. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just something weird that's, you know, been going on in my mind, in my soul, and something that I wanted to share with you. But um, right now, I'm going to wait for Kat to get back out of her parents. We're going to go and have a chilled afternoon walking around some shops, and then I'll continue this video when I'm on the way to the gym later on because... Um, my mind is going to try and talk me out of going to the gym later, but I know that if I tap into that dark side of my soul, that will be enough to get me through in the same way that it did get me through my boxing class earlier. Because um, you know, when I put my mind to it, and when I say when I put my mind to it, you know, that could be the positive side, the inspirational side of my mind, or the dark side of my mind. When I put my mind to it, I can't be stopped. Jim. All right, you now join me at the gym. It's half seven, and I'm gonna go in and do an arm and chest session. And I don't think I would have come to the gym today if it wasn't for the way that I'm, you know, looking at things today based on what I mentioned in the last clip. And I haven't looked back at the last clip, but I'm worried that maybe I might have come across as, you know, someone that's sort of thinking in a dangerous way. And I wanna reiterate, I'm not, overcome with negativity today. I'm not overcome with hatred for myself. And the way I see it is that one of the main reasons that this attempt at staying clean from drink and drugs is working is because I made a conscious decision, you know, back when I decided <laughs> that time to, you know, clean up my act. I made a conscious decision to dig deep and uncover and face the hatred that I have got for myself. But you know, it was deep, it was suppressed. You know, like most people, you know, I was su suppressing the negative feelings that I had for myself and using drink and drugs to, you know, hide away from the fact that deep down I did hate myself. So, you know, I made a conscious decision to dig up that hatred for myself and analyze it. And, you know, I could see that, yeah, I do hate myself because I've lived a life where most of the time I've been a little coward. You know, I hate myself because I'm inherently lazy. I, la I hate myself because, you know, I haven't spent any time making myself into a stronger human being mentally and physically. And that's when I could then decide, right, you know, each one of these things that are reasons that I hate myself, I'm going to tackle them head on. And that is why I sort of come up with the idea of not even focusing on not drinking and not taking drugs, but focusing on turning myself into a stronger human being and tackling these things that are the reasons that deep down I hate myself. And that's why this attempt has been so successful, because I'm not focusing on not taking drugs. I'm not focusing on not drinking. I'm focusing on turning myself into the strongest human being that I can. And then that just means by default, I don't drink and I don't take drugs and I don't smoke and I don't eat crap every day. And I don't, you know, watch negative things and I don't indulge in negative thoughts and I don't hang around with negative people. You know, I just stay focused on turning myself into the strongest human being that I can physically, mentally and spiritually. That's why it means that, you know, on most days I work out. You know, on most days I meditate, on most days I write in a gratitude journal to remind myself how grateful I am for living this life, you know. Not taking drugs and not drinking is just a byproduct of all of that. So, you know, back then I had to dig deep and I had to uncover the hatred that I had for myself so that I could then, you know, take steps to correct it. And then after a while, you know, I find that you know, I've built up momentum in terms of my fitness, in terms of my health, in terms of everything. You know, I've built up momentum, so then that momentum becomes a reason for me to continue on the positive path. But then, you know, I got to a point, I think, you know, I've got to a point where the momentum isn't enough in itself anymore for me to keep progressing. It's like the momentum hasn't got enough momentum, if that makes any sense. This is all only a theory, right? So, you know, I've got to a stage where the momentum hasn't got enough momentum, but I'm also so far away and so far beyond the point where I was digging deep and actually seeking that hatred that I've got inside myself for myself, which is why today I decided to, you know, dig up that hatred that I've got for myself, you know, remind myself that I do have a corner of my soul that absolutely hates me, you know, and bring that back to the surface and use that dark energy to keep me focused on 
going to boxing earlier on, despite how tired and you know achy I was. And again, this evening, you know, I've used that dark energy to get me here to the gym, and I'm going to use that dark energy whilst I'm in the gym. I'm basically going to be punishing myself, but you know, with the intention of bettering myself through it. And as I mentioned earlier, it's not. I can't sit here now and advise other people to to do what I'm doing because there might be some people out there that are so wallowing in hatred for themselves that you know it's not going to work it's just that most people out there don't realize that they hate themselves most people that are taking drugs and drinking all the time and using whatever things they use to escape from the world you know deep down they hate themselves they've just suppressed it so much that they don't realize it and that was the situation I was in and I just needed to dig it up at the time and yeah today I've decided to dig it up again and just use it as dark energy I think ultimately you either use what's going in on in your mind to benefit you and push you forward whether that be good or bad uh, sort of feelings and thoughts or you use what's going on in your head to hold you back and it doesn't matter whether you've got demons in your head or whether you've got you know a head full of positivity both of those states can be good or bad and you need to be able to analyze what's going on in your mind and in your soul and use it as fuel to to better yourself and not allow it to um hold you back that, that's that's where i'm at but um but yeah you know another thing that is going through my mind is the fact that as i mentioned earlier I'm kind of coming to terms with the fact that I might have to seriously rest for a bit just because physically I'm kind of grinding myself down. So it's a balance, you know, I can't just keep running on dark energy, you know, and making myself more and more and more and more injured. It's just, you know, it's a balance. You need to push yourself, but also not absolutely grind yourself, you know, to death. Um, but there you go. This is just me, as usual, revealing and explaining what's going on you know, in my head and in my life. I don't pretend to be an expert. I'm just someone that's willing to actively analyze what's going on within me and share it with you guys on this channel. But right now, I'm gonna get in and do this arm and chest session. I am gonna go easy, as I did last week on the arm and chest session, because, you know, boxing is just making my shoulders and my arms uh, really hurt. Like, I've got my elbow joints are hurting again, my shoulders are hurting. I did boxing literally uh, a matter of hours ago, you know. Again, it's a balance, right? I'm using the uh, darkness within me to get me here to the gym, but I am going to be sticking to the plan that I made, like, sort of last week of going lighter on my arms and chest and shoulder stuff. So I'm going to go in there, and this is going to be a quick workout. I'm going to do the five machines that I normally do on arms and chest. I'm not going to do my incline walk warm-up or anything like that. I've done enough cardio earlier on at boxing. And, yeah, I'm probably just going to do the three sets on each of those machines no upsets no drop sets i will hopefully remember to do a light set on each of the machines just so that i am warming up my muscles because i'm literally not even doing my incline walk warm up but um yeah this should be a quick session it's now coming up to 20 to 8 so i should be in there and ready by 20 to 8 and i reckon as long as i don't have to wait around for machines i should be out of there in 40 minutes so let's see how i get on All right, arm and chest session done. Obviously a light one compared to past ones, but yeah, I, I have got genuine pain in my shoulders and my elbows, but yeah, really glad that I went to the gym and yeah, as I've already said so many times in this video, I was just focusing on the reasons why there is a part of me that still hates myself because it's those reasons that <laughs> give me reasons to want to change and to keep growing as a person so um yeah you know i've used that dark energy for good you know instead of suppressing my hatred for myself like most people do which never works i've decided to face it and um yeah that's what i did at the beginning of this attempt 
at staying clean from drinking drugs, which has now been going on for well over a year. So I must be doing something wrong. I'm going home now to have a shower. Me and Kat are going to be having chicken fajitas tonight, which, you know, is one of my favorite dinners, you know, plenty of protein. But look, I'd say to anyone watching this video, you know, don't judge me negatively for, uh, you know, looking for reasons why I hate myself. Ask yourself, you know, a, a question and answer it honestly. Do you hate yourself? Is there any part of you deep within your soul that hates yourself? Because if you're looking to better yourself, then there must be things that you don't like about yourself. And if you keep suppressing and hiding away from the reasons that you don't like yourself, then you're never gonna find the drive to tackle the things that you don't like about yourself. So, um, you know, I'm not planning to now focus every day, you know, all day, every day on, you know, why I hate myself. It's just that I've kind of learned from today that when I haven't got enough momentum or when the momentum of me now liking the new me um, isn't enough, then I can tap back in to those reasons why I don't like myself or didn't like myself and didn't like how my life was because um, ultimately they're the things that have kick-started this current successful period of my life where I am in the best shape of my life. So um, listen, I'm gonna end this video here. I wanna send a massive thanks out to everyone who has tuned in. Feel free to tune in tomorrow for another video if I decide to make one because um, part of me does think that I need to have a break from you know potentially making these videos for a while. So we'll see. If there is another video tomorrow, then feel free to tune in. But other than that, massive thanks for watching.